What is up, my AMC fam? It's your boy Mike coming at your farm. You already know. AMC Movie Theater is here to Mecca, California. Okay, this is not financial advice. This is my own personal opinion. Now, as you can see, it is Wednesday. It's a beautiful day out here in Southern California. I think it's like about 62 degrees, 63 degrees. It's actually absolutely 100% gorgeous. There's not a cloud in the sky. Everything is blue. I know some people were like, I think in, in Maine, it was like minus three the other day. It's some crazy weather like that, okay? Now, it's just before nine o'clock or about nine o'clock. AMC is currently pushing above 18 bucks. Now, there's a question that was asked, okay? And I want to pose this question to everybody here. The question that was asked in my live stream, which I think is an absolutely phenomenal question. I'm going to put this as a Twitter poll coming up. After all said and done for the squeeze, right? For AMC and GME, because I believe they both will squeeze. After it's all said and done and they both squeeze, post squeeze, which company, which stock do you think will have the highest price between those two? Okay. Now I know the two entirely different companies. I know that you know, they're two entirely different floats. A lot of things going on. Okay. But we have huge movements. And I'm thinking, who's going to be the highest price between AMC and GME post squeeze after all is said and done? I want you to leave that in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts or who you think is going to squeeze the highest. Who's going to have the highest price between AMC and GME after they both squeeze, okay? Now, before that, we got a long road ahead of us. AMC is currently trading in the $18 range. Now, the price action for AMC is nice, but I want you to be very wary. Be very careful. The utilization for AMC was at 82%. We're, we're in the high 70s at one point. We got to the 80s, then all of a sudden overnight, now we're at 100%, okay? Now, you know, I'm expecting, oh, what's well, the glitch? Again, Fintel or Tex don't get, you know, 85% of reported data from these hedge frauds that is self-reported, okay? You gotta remember, it's self-reported from these hedge frauds. So there's manipulation, there's all kinds of tomfoolery, there's things that they're not gonna tell us. Now, do I think it's 85%? I think they gave us probably like 15%, maybe 20%. They do not tell us nothing, okay? You can use it as a very rough guideline, take it with a grain of salt. Just like my words, take everything with a grain of salt. Do your own due diligence. Now, I know it's hard to do your own due diligence when you have tools like Fintel and Ortex not giving you the proper data, okay? And this is what we're working on. This is the reason why we hold, or I say one of the reasons why we hold, okay? We know that AMC is manipulated and we own the fault multiple times over and there's billions and billions and billions of synthetic shares out in the market. Now. Again, pushing over 18, it wouldn't mean nothing if we get to 19, 20, 21, and then we drop right back down and finish the week at you know, 16, 17 bucks because it's not where we're at right now, it's how we finish the week at the end of the week for the options. Because right now, currently, there's 57,000 calls that are in the money. Now, that's pretty nice. If we keep pushing up higher, obviously, there'll be more calls that are in the money. But then again, tomorrow, we have a CPI report coming out, and we actually, we have, um, there's a Fed meeting tomorrow, okay? So we have two things tomorrow that can possibly, possibly, and I'm not uh, spreading any FUD here, that could possibly push the market back down. And I know they're talking about three rate hikes, okay? And at first, they were talking about two. The question is, is it going to be a quarter percent? Is it going to be half percent? We have about five to maybe six weeks out, you know, five and a half weeks, if you want to call it, to actually find that out. You know, once they do the first hike um, and so there's a lot of things coming up but in the meantime I want everybody to be cautious be very careful and understand what is going on yes it's nice to see AMC green this is not a squeeze this is just price action you know it's not FOMO <laughs> it, it, you know we have a, still a, a huge problem with the dark pools with the AMC's you know with AMC shares not going to the lit exchange but they're selling on the lit exchange we're being shorted ladder attack manipulated all these things not only with AMC and GME okay so again, I want everybody to be very careful. I want you to have a great day. I just wanna make this video really quick and just understand the price of AMC is not the price of AMC, the price is psychological. Now, for the rest of the week, again, let's just hold off and see, let's get by Thursday, which is tomorrow, then let's see how we finish on Friday. And hopefully we're at a decent price on Friday we can start pushing up and get a lot more call options in the money. And hopefully we can hit that, you know, 18, 19, 20. Now, I mentioned earlier that I didn't think that AMC will push over 16 bucks. Now, at the time, we're trying very hard to maintain the utilization of at least 81%, 80%, 81%, 82%, and also overnight, it goes to 100%, okay? So these things, you gotta be careful. I'm glad I'm wrong. I'm glad it's pushing up over 18 bucks, but let's see where we maintain and see how we go, okay? So have a great day. It's Wednesday. We have a long week. We have the rest of the trading day, and just watch out. So again, leave in the comments. I want you to like and subscribe. Leave in the comments. What stock do you think will go higher, AMC or GME? Who would, the who, who would have the highest maximum price between AMC and GME post squeeze? Let me know. I'll talk to you later. Remember, the price of AMC is not the price of AMC. You got to be in it to win it. All right, have a great day. Talk to you later. Peace.